On a sunny morning in late July, Ray Kuchera likes what he sees on his farm near Cedar Bluffs. It doesn't get much better than this. It's a beautiful morning, you get up and it kind of feels like that harvest weather. And things are looking good, you're anxious to kind of see what harvest is gonna bring. Ray and his son Kevin raise soybeans and corn, and to get their crops to look this good, they irrigate, but they're careful to make the most of every drop. Nozzles on their center pivots drop down near the plants to ensure that more water gets to the roots. The old time uh, sprinklers, some at a 45 degree angle above the pipeline, so the water was in the air quite a while before it got down to the plant or even to the ground, and there was just a lot more chance of losing water, especially on a hot, windy day. One thing I've, my dad's been good about is keeping up with the times and keeping up with technology. So we're, we're starting to get on the dry side. Technology like soy water, an online tool developed by the University of Nebraska with research funding provided by the Nebraska Soybean Board. Soil moisture sensors in soybean fields tell the Kucheras how much water is available to the plants. It, it really takes a lot of guesswork out of uh, our work. Ray enters the data and soy water recommends when he needs to irrigate based on what's best for the beans. It's invaluable information. It, our technology has really helped us um, kind of let us know what stage our crops are in and when it needs water and when it doesn't need water. University of Nebraska Extension educator Chuck Burr shared tips on irrigation with farmers at soybean management field days, explaining tools like soy water and watermark sensors. Yeah, so the producers trying soy water, I think, are, are pretty pleased with it. Burr says farmers want to use the right amount of water because it's good for their crops, good for the environment, and good for their business. Uh, it'll cost you $800 to $1,500 just to make one circle and apply an inch of water to your field. So we can reduce the application a couple inches. That's quite a few dollars in the pocket. And Burr says Nebraska farmers are getting the message that using technology to manage water use makes sense. Nebraska is leading the nation in the percentage of farmers that are monitoring soil moisture, making those irrigation scheduling decisions. We try to be good stewards out here. It's not uh, for our sake, it's for everybody's sake. We want to have it for our kids and grandkids, obviously, and that's very important. Because, Ray says, farmers want future generations to have the same opportunities they've had. It's uh, probably one of the bigger joys of being a dad is when you have a son that uh, wants to come back and farm. It's a good, proud moment. Well, it's what I've done my whole entire life. You know, it's what my family's done most of their lives. I really want to take care of this farm and hand it down to someday to my kids and bring on another fifth generation of, of our farm.